guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. We're getting there. That is the new viral moment from the presidential campaign trail. That joke about Puerto Rico told on stage at a Trump rally over the weekend. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera, Southern Nevada's Latino community condemning the comment. News 3's Ambar Rodriguez live here in studio with more on that. I spoke with two organizations who encourage Latinos to use their voice and vote. Both say the disrespectful racist comments made by Tony Hinchcliffe are nothing new. We are all Puerto Ricans today. During a Trump rally at Madison Square Garden, comedian Tony Hitchcliffe's jokes were far from funny. It's part of the same old playbook um, of insulting, hardworking Latinos. While speaking at the world's most famous arena, the comedian chose to make Latinos the butt of his jokes. Unfortunately, many years we've become used to the rhetoric that is being used. Uh, for us, it's important to remind our community that no matter what, uh, even if we are undocumented, we still matter, we contribute. Astrid Silva is the founder and executive director for Dream Big Nevada. The nonprofit helps immigrant families by providing them with services and encourages them to advocate for themselves and others in similar situations. The organization does not support a particular party. We know that no matter what, um, unfortunately, things are going to continue to be said, and that's why we're asking those who support DREAMers to cast their ballot. Um, we want them to make sure that our voice is heard through them. One of those adding his voice to this election, a former DREAMer and naturalized citizen. My community deserves respect, and it's time for us to cast our val ballots for those people that show respect to our community and who are going to do something for my people, for uh, these people that work so hard to make sure that our community is, is taken care of. For him, being able to vote for the very first time today was his way of advocating for those who cannot. I'm voting for my brothers and sisters, my dreamer brothers and sisters who don't have a right to vote, who their future is uncertain. I'm here to support them and I'm here to tell them uh, that si se puede. And I reached out to Latinos for Trump for comment and I have not heard back just yet, but I will update everyone when the group does. For now, reporting in studio, Ambar Rodriguez for News 3. Ambar, thank you.